Good morning. I'm Ian One Bud, part of the crew here at the Historic Ship Nautilus and Submarine Forest Museum. Today we'll be talking about Admiral Paul Foster. Paul Foster was the first officer to be awarded the three highest Navy awards, the Medal of Honor, the Navy Cross, and the Distinguished Service Medal. Born in Wichita, Kansas on March 25, 1889, graduated from the United States Naval Academy in 1911, he was given his choice of his future duty station. He chose the USS Utah, but in an unfortunate turn of events, he was initially sent to the wrong ship, the USS Washington. He took his work as a gunnery officer and was interested in all aspects of the gunnery and fire control. Several months later, he was finally sent to the USS Utah and quickly assigned the position of Assistant Fire Control Officer. While on board, Ensign Foster volunteered for the invasion of the Mexican city of Veracruz in April 1914. His orders were to lead the three of three infantry companies, who were supported by a fourth company of artillery, but because his men were ready first, they were the first to disembark. Rowing in the face of random and ineffective sniper fire, Ensign Foster and his men arrived on the beach and led his men through enemy forces from one building to the next, clearing each and every house until they reached the customs house. Here they loaded bags of sugar, rice, and bales of cotton onto the trucks, which they used as cover as they continued to the important buildings in the center of the city where most of the fighting took place. To Ensign Foster's credit, none of his men were killed and only four were wounded in the two days of fighting at Veracruz. In his own words, the importance of the battle was poop high on a hurricane. He was awarded the Medal of Honor for his time in combat. For distinguished conduct in battle, engagements of Veracruz 21 and 22 April 1914 in both days fighting at the head of his company, Ensign Foster was eminent and conspicuous in his conduct, leading his men with skill and courage. In February 1916, during World War I, Foster assumed command of the USS AL-2. While running on the surface in the Atlantic, a lookout spotted a submarine buoy floating nearby. Almost immediately, the boat was rocked violently by an explosion. A geyser 150 feet high shot straight up out of the water. A German U-boat's torpedo had exploded before reaching its target and failed to damage the AL-2. Foster knew there wouldn't have been enough time to prepare the deck gun, so he ordered his men to dive the submarine, aggressively pursuing the U-boat in an attempt to ram it as his only hope of winning the fight. The U-boat went deep to avoid the collision and went silent. The AL-2 was credited as one of only three American ships and only submarine to sink a German U-boat during World War I, as well as the first ever sinking of an enemy ship by a United States submarine. With this, Foster was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal in 1918. In 1924, Foster was awarded the Navy Cross for saving his men from an unexpected fire in the turret during the first live gunnery exercise on board the USS Trenton. Unfortunately, he lost 19 men during this casualty, but saved many more by putting out the fire through the secondary hatch on the turret. <laughs>